Hello, beautiful people. It's time to enjoy Social Log, your one stop event program. It's weekly, you know, and a tasteful selection awaits you. I am Anita Shelong, and this is the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA. Relax, it's time to savour our special. Birthday celebrations often attract well wishes. Family and friends look forward to the pump, the great food, the camaraderie. It is a great time to catch up amidst everyone's busy shadows. This time, though, it was all that and more. Stepping onto the fifth floor, T-Boy, as his friendly call, danced in with his pals, Shim. A clear indication that their beloved partnership Spearheads excitement, creativity, innovation, vision, purposeful alignment with a goal to impact and change life. To Adasi Adapt a School Initiative. It's been ups and downs. But even in all of it, we give thanks to God. So we've had good times, we've had difficult times, but in all of it, we give thanks to God. For him to continue to be grateful, for him to continue to be the person he is, because he's a kind person, he is an absolutely amazing person. He's someone who inspires me, inspires other people. And just for him to keep being himself, and for him to continue to put his faith in God, who has brought him to this time and will continue to take him forward. Adasi began small, but with a determined push, it seeks to go and grow big, platforming more growth on the willingness and commitment of all who came, who watched and listened in trial. <laughs> The Adasi is as ambitious as it is timely, a hope that promises to build result-oriented and long-lasting bridges that can solidify educational gaps building excellence in our educational system nationwide. Adasi, I mean Yoruba means Adasi, we get involved, Abadasi Inform. It also means, it's also an acronym for Adopted School Initiative. And my wife and I, my siblings, our spouses, our children, we all came together uh, because we think education is important. We, we conceptualized Adasi around focusing on local government schools, which nowadays are state funded. We want people to come together to form a network of Adasi citizens. We have an ambitious goal to adopt one school in each local government in Nigeria. So that's 774 schools which we would like to adopt within 10 years. We are starting in Oshu State, um, Oduoti local government area to be precise. We are from Okoku. We will collaborate with the right agencies. We will collaborate with the state government. We will collaborate with the ministries and the right regulatory bodies. But that is our ambition. We think that um, whatever we can do as individuals to support the government, uh, we should. 
The entertainment cut across, providing diverse and rich tones, celebrating the vibrance that is us, one people, great nation. The joy and laughter and fun embedded in the celebration is not without a neatly woven theme, resonating that together we surely can. Adasi. It's very important that we support our community. We support the less privileged, the underserved, and they're doing exactly the same with school because we have to go back to our community to help. We have to go back to our foundation, and that's exactly what they are doing. It's, it's not easy to say you want to do all of that with everything going on now in the country, but saying you want to do that, you want to help your community, and where do you start from? From the children. When you empower the children, you empower the future. There's one man that has never changed all the years that I've known him. He takes people's problems as his own problem. I mean, he doesn't solve everyone's problem, but then again, it's just, it's an enigma. It's just one in a million, man. The guy is different, he's unique, man. Continue to be who you are, and I pray that Almighty God will continue to bless you, lift you up, and promote you. An amazing human being. He's, um, he's a role model. Is that what you call the epitome of goodness? That is who the celebrant is. As we celebrate Tibo and the courageous initiative that is Adopt a School initiative, we are reminded that stepping onto the fifth floor is a joy that arrives with a burning urge to change the status quo, to give back, to give voice to hope and a platform for positive impact and educational development. Congratulations. Adasi indeed. It feels good to be loved and supported. Congratulations to a trailblazer. Now, come, let's delve in together as our next event explores artistry, mystery, and a hidden story behind hieroglyphics. Hmm, is it something you're familiar with? Let's see. Nigeria. Celebrated master artist Tola Wewe presents a profound exploration of womanhood in his latest exhibition, Hieroglyphics of Womanhood. With over 65 stunning works on display, this exhibition seeks to honor women as the mirror of society, their beauty, strength, and resilience captured in each brush stroke and sculpture. Generally speaking, all the works I'm exhibiting uh, eulogize women. They celebrate women. Uh, and this particular one is titled, If You Don't. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, talk about how the society treats women. Uh, I love the woman, not just women, the woman, the real woman. Uh, this is a real woman. She has been abused. She's ready to fight. She's fighting for her. You can see the, the eyeballs are red. Uh, she's determined. That is the spirit in the African woman. Determined woman. Hardworking woman. Abused woman. So I am just celebrating womanhood with this painting. Known as the Picasso of Africa, Tola Wewe's creation transcends mere aesthetics. Each piece reflects the spirit of womanhood, celebrating women not only as individuals, but as embodiment of culture, history, and the pulse of society itself. 
if you look at the works of art, they are colorful, they show strength, they show different physical attributes of the woman. They show her eyes, her silhouettes, you know, different parts of her body. But the focus is not really on physical, but an expression of the depths of a woman. You know, when you talk about the hand that rocks the cradle, rules the world. And that's, that's just a story of a woman. She's mysterious and there's so many parts to her. They show strength, resilience, beauty, perception, wisdom. You know, it's all embodied in womanhood. And this is what Jif Tolawewe tries to express in his works of art. If you look at the terracotta pieces that I present here today, uh, they are like hieroglyphics. They are like writings of ancient times. They are, I used clay and I used the open firing system, terracotta pieces. So I combined both the terracotta pieces and my paintings in acrylic together to form the title of the exhibition. There's this approach to the works that also make them to stand out. He has this childlike approach to you know, painting. And that is, uh, that informs us of the cradle of human existence. So woman is the beginning. And so to say, anything that is associated with womanhood should be stemming out of the beginning, which should take us back to, as a matter of fact, creating like children. This particular exhibition is the heliographics of women. And basically what it is, is extolling the virtues of, of the African women, their tenacity, their hard work, their perseverance, their industry, uh, in all together put together in the form of exhibition and art, uh, an artwork. And um, and I must give kudos to Chief uh, Tolawewe because he's been at this for a long, very long time. And uh, these are people that we should always remember in this country that have represented the country well, especially the art industry, both locally and abroad. In celebrating womanhood. Tola Weiwei's hieroglyphics of womanhood doesn't just display art. It transforms the gallery into a sacred space where the beauty, resilience, and wisdom of women are immortalized for all to witness. Here, every canvas, every sculpture, every color becomes a tribute to the strength of women, a reflection of society, and a powerful reminder of the role women play in shaping our world. Creativity is often magnetic, an amazing world that celebrates inspiring works and people. Now, let's move from the ancient past to a very present and ongoing conversation that has the capacity to shape and energize experiences. The groundbreaking conference on women in politics as we listen to the voices, learn of the challenges and success. Women are actively involved in the politics of life and governance, harnessing their innate ability to unify, integrate families, community, and regions. Many agree that women have come a long way, but opine that it is quite some distance to cover. Nigeria have produced so many brilliant women in the past years, in the past decades, and so therefore I would say we are already together. Now there is no one, there is no individual that does not need a push. So we now, as women, we are in a place where we need a push. And that is why we are championing, supporting, clapping for the bill of uh, reserve seats for women. Women must learn to hold their own, head, hold your head high, know that you matter. 
know that you are what you know have a self worth. I know that nobody can give you love if you don't love yourself. You are the first person to provide love and harmony and happiness for yourself before anybody can. You know. So when you know that and you know that the power. You can only be the one to relinquish your power to somebody else. If you understand that the power is yours and nobody can take it from you, then you hold your head up. Train a woman and you train a nation emphasizes that education is a primary tool to inspire confidence, ability, determination, focus, and tenacity in women, especially now. There's no society that is without uh, women because they are the birth or the foundation for every society that there is. So any given opportunity that I have to show support and solidarity with them in achieving their desired um, target, I'm always up for it. In Nigeria as a country, we have a lot of cultures, beliefs, religion, and backgrounds that actually um, serve as a barrier to young women you know, um, in achieving what they actually want to achieve. First of all, there are some cultures in Nigeria that don't encourage young ladies or young women to go to school. So without this education, you know, it is a barrier on its own because they are not able to meet up with their dreams, their choice, and what they want to be. Nigeria boasts a high number of women in politics, burgeoning into appointments in private and public sectors, governors, and other key areas of development. In spite of this, as a woman leader, she believes that as soon as there is a stable synergy in cooperating digitization, information, technology, and artificial intelligence, a lot more will be achieved. Women should forgive, women should love, women should know that. We, as women, cannot be held bound unless we are meant to understand that we should be held bound. So who has made you to understand that you should be held bound when you can actually explore and spring out together in unity and oneness and make a difference and get there together? To all my fellow women out there, don't ever let anybody tell you that you're less of who you are or that you cannot do it. You must grab the bull by the horn and squeeze it as hard as you can. Bulge into that door and don't look back because if they can do it, we can do it better. Generally, it is agreed that unity is necessary amongst women, increased educational support as well and continued mentoring. What about you and you and you? Perhaps if we align more in terms of sacrifice for national growth, Nigerian women will make greater impact on the continent and in the world. Very powerful reminder of how continued dedication resilience and attention to details can unify us more than ever before. It was a wow, exciting and moving at the same time. Many didn't want the evening to end. Eventually, it wraps, but not until you get to be part of this blissful impact. The city of Abuja was transformed as worshippers gathered to experience an evening with renowned gospel artist Moses Glee. Held at Chida Event Center, the Bliss experience lived up to its reputation, drawing fans and worshippers from across the nation's capital.
the night kicked off with high praise setting a joyful tone for an inspiring worship moses bliss led the audience through a selection of his hit songs including too faithful daddy wedi pampa his powerful performance left an impact on every soul in attendance creating a shared experience that left everyone feeling recharged and inspired. The event also featured special appearances from notable artists including Oyo Lawrence, Prosper Chimma, each bringing their unique style and spirit to the stage. The collaboration added even more depth and excitement. worship and a reminder of the power of music that brings people together. It is going to be quite challenging to say which event I enjoyed the most or which made the most impact. I will leave that to you to finalize. Now you know not to miss Social Log on the NCA. I am. I